What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Crystal Walkthrough. Okay, so off screen we did just a little bit of training, maybe one or two training, because Lucky has been slow, and as you can see, it's uh, lost quite a few HP points right there. Um, yeah, <laughs> two, two levels of speed, so I'm not really lucky about that. I don't really uh, like the fact that my team is a little slow with Lucky and quite possibly Teddy, but you know, we'll get faster eventually. Um, oh yeah, got Cinder to level 20, and Teddy to level 16, so we're, we're ready, we're, we're good to go right here. So let's move on, we are in Route 34 right here. Trainer tips. Berry trees grow new berries every day. Make a note for of which trees bear, uh, or which trees bear which uh, berries. I think I did, like when I came back or something, because it's been a week, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go with Toxie uh, Batman right here first because there are Pokemon trainers here. And let's go ahead and battle. It's been a while since battle. This is where I do my training. You don't say. Okay, so here we go. Battle number one. Round 34. Two Golden Rod City. And we got a youngster Samuel here. He's coming out with his Ratatata. Ratata. Or rat Ratata. Or whatever you guys like to say. Everybody's anal about this name. And, wow, don't have that move yet. Don't have that new, but I do have that move. Bite, finally. You know, a, an attack, an actual attacking move for, uh, for my Toxie Batman. And, uh, yeah, this guy is just quick attacking me all over the place. Just for a sprite who shakes his booty. And, uh, good points, good points. So, who is coming out? Coming out with the Sand True. Let's go with Lucky. Hopefully he's lucky with this one. Let's go. Sand True. Let's go. You guys remember that episode of uh, that undefeated Pokemon trainer, EJ? Sandshrew, let's go! And, wow, we're still not faster than Sandshrew, but we do we do have an advantage over him. Yes, sir, we do. And, uh, well, nearly takes him out. Got one more attack. Hopefully this scratch attack doesn't defeat me. Not really, but water gun attack to Sandshrew. And bye-bye, Sandshrew. Yeah, hell yeah. That's right. And, uh, hmm, let's see. Coming out with a Spearow, I think I should uh, switch it up right here to Teddy, because we haven't seen Teddy in quite some time. Nuh-uh. I miss you, Teddy. I really do. So here we have Teddy. What up, Teddy? Let's go with the headbutt, since I taught, taught, it, for, uh, taught it to you for a reason. And it's good to go. Look at that. Teddy, defeating everybody in sight. Hopefully it might be a tank against uh, against uh, the next gym battle. We all know who we're facing and what Pokemon we're facing. That infamous mill tank. Do not like that Vashava cow. If you guys know what I just said right there. Let's go, Cinder. Everybody gets experience points. Yes, we do. And, uh, well, luckily, we did get that charcoal, so it's, you know, it actually helps us out a little. And this guy's like beaten by a passing stranger? Yeah, you didn't just beat me, or you just didn't get beat by it. Just any ordinary stranger. I'm a champ. The champ is here. I'm going to train even harder. After all, I'm trying to become the, a gym leader. Oh, well, good luck with that. Okay, so we got two options. Battle that guy, or battle who's ever right there. Or who, what's ever in the grass. And there are some interesting po Pokemon in this grass. Like, like this one! Oh my god! Okay. We're going to try and capture this Pokemon because he could prove useful later on. Let's go. Oh, God. And it's going to transform. No. Would you look at that? He just transformed into us. Or it just transformed into us. Taking our weaknesses, taking our, our attacks. It flinched. This is good stuff right here. Okay. And there is that leech life that I was going to use. Doesn't affect us. Uh, well, wow, the enemy's faster than me. Ugh. Okay, not very effective. Hopefully ours is a little stronger. You know, take back my energy. You know, that. Okay, so it's not as fast. Let's go and confuse the heck out of this Pokemon. And no, no. Yeah, that's that's all this Ditto's gonna be doing, just uh, using that Leech Life attack, you know. You do have Bite, and, uh, jeez. Oh, come on! <laughs> Don't be like that. 
Okay, come on! Two can play at this game! No! And this is the part I hate the most. Battling and a ditto, because ditto can do that to you. So, let's go with, uh... Oh, God. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with... I'm gonna have to go with this Pokemon right here, because... Ditto, you, you... You're being mean. And that leech life attack... Uh... Okay, whatever. Okay, water gun. Why do you keep on going first? Lucky, you need to get faster. You really do need to get faster. And, uh... There we go. Okay, so it is at a good enough... A good enough, uh... Well, HP to try and catch her with a Great Ball. Now, this Ditto right here is going to be a little bit difficult to catch because it's a very rare Pokemon. Oh, come on! Oh, come on. Don't be like that. Alright, since you're fast, I'm going to try the front fastball at you. If you, guys are guys, if you guys are wondering where my lure ball went, captured a Poliwag with that. There we go. Two. No! I hate you, Ditto. Okay, we got one more. Pokeball! Come on! Come on! Let's go, Pokeball! One, two, three! No! Uh, okay, well... I can't run away! I gotta run away! Uh, bastard did it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna beat you. Alright. Since we lost all our Pokeballs to this one little bastard, okay. Might as well destroy it. Ah, uh, God, I hate you! I hate you, Ditto. Well, that... Really? I don't need to talk to you right now, Anthony. Yes, you found a Geodude, or your Geodude is pretty cool, feisty, feisty, battling Zubat, yada, yada, yada. I think we got this from the last episode, okay? I don't care, Anthony. <sighs> okay. Ugh, okay, so I just raged right there. Okay, luckily, we do have a revive. I'm gonna have to use this one for Lucky. I had no choice. And uh, we got four super potions. Might as well use that on Lucky as well because uh, I don't know. Lucky can't even uh, can't even um, hold its own since it's slow. And uh, let's just use a potion right here. There you go. Okay, so I'm done being frustrated. You can find Ditto's here. Let's talk to this chick. Are you a trainer? Let's have a practice battle. Okay. Alrighty. Let's do this. Just don't cry cry to your mama after I'm done with you. So we got Picnicker, uh, Picnicker Gina right here. And she's coming out with her hop. Good, good. Toxie Batman loves just grass type Pokemon right here. Leech Life. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, come on. I should have just defeated it right there. And, uh, well, there's that splash attack. So, hop Hop-Hip, the magic carp of grass type Pokemon. You gotta love them. You really do. And, Wow. Well, since there's no sun, it won't recover. Oh, well, well, it won't recover as fast. But if you combine it with a sun, a sunny day, it, you know, more than likely, it's gonna just recover, recover to its full health right there. And bye bye, Hopip. Yeah. All right. Okay. So those are good points right there. I think I should switch now because Bulbasaur, both a grass and poison type Pokemon. I don't think. Talks about Batman could or will do well against this guy right here. Let's go, Cinder. Amber attack. Will it? Can it? I don't know. Let's see. And it does. Say, say goodbye to Bulbasaur right there. All right. Okay. And in another hop episode. Talks about Batman. This is all you right here. This is all you. Talks about Batman. This is your life. Featuring Zubat or Talks about Batman. The Zubat. Leech Life again. I don't know why I just did that. I, like, pressed the button real quick, like, if it was nothing, and I, yeah, it's not hurting me at all. I think at one point I actually did have a hop up on my team. Didn't really like it. Wasn't that, wasn't that good of a Pokemon. Gotta love those flinches. And, uh, let's go again with another bite. And goodbye to hop up. No more hop up, and we're closer to level 15. 
Picnic Regina was defeated, and she's like, oh no, I just can't win. Eh, whatever. Okay, talk to her. She's like, you're too strong to be a, to be a practice partner. Whenever I see a strong trainer, I want to uh, I want to be their cheerleader. When I'm on uh, on the walk, I sometimes pick up items. If I get anything, you want you can, you can have it. Want to give uh, me your number? Sure, sure. Just try not to bother me like Anthony does. So I just registered Gina's number right there, and uh, yeah, I'll call you if anything pops up soon. Okay, all right. Let's get out of here and uh, let's go ahead and battle this guy right here. So. Yeah, we we, have, we really need to work on Lucky and its speed because, let, let's face it, it is our slowest Pokemon. Teddy can hold its own because it does have a tremendous attack. And Cinder is Cinder, you know, it's my starter Pokemon. So, this guy's talking about the daycare. Let's do this. Let's just battle. I just want to battle. That's all I want to do. And here he is with his kid, Pikachu. And his name is Brandon. He's coming out with a Snubble. Snubble, blah, blah, blah. Okay. All right, Snubble. Here's Lucky. And, uh, that doesn't really work out for us. Really? So let's go with the water gun. Will it work? Can it work? No, it doesn't. I gotta hit it with the slam. Slam is his most powerful attack. It's just very inaccurate, and, uh, this one, we're very lucky. How ironic- oh, wow. It had a berry. Okay. How ironic is it that I name a Wooper whose um, strongest attack is you know, in, very unlucky. Like, we're just unlucky. You guys know what I mean. The, the irony in all this. And wow, our attack went down tremendously. Wow. Okay, so we're going to have to go special right here. And this guy is just lowering our stats wherever we go. I mean, we're already slow enough as it is. You do know that, right? And wow. This snubble will not go down, and oof, this this snubble's hell bent to just like kill us right here. But this water gun will do it the trick. Goodbye, critical hit, and uh, more experience points for us. That's right. Brandon has been defeated. He's like, why does it end it this way? Probably because you only have one Pokemon. I don't know. So he's like, my Pokemon new moves. If uh, I didn't know I had, that confounded me to no end. Okay, all right. Alright, cool, cool, cool. And we got one more trainer right here. I am going to get rid of him real quickly because this guy could could have some uh, awesome Pokemon. So let's see what he got. Oh, not there. Let's see what he has. So he's like, I'm the best in my class at Pokemon. Really? Grades, studying them, that's good. That's good, but you have to get out in the real world to figure this one out. So here's Ian with his Mankey. Very good Pokemon. If you guys don't remember, I had Project Pig Hammer in my uh, Pokemon Yellow team for just a little bit. Very good Pokemon. Oh, you should trade him to this game right here. And there goes that Ember. Finishes that Mankey off. Just like that. So easy. And coming out with a Diglett right here. Okay. You know what? Lucky. Come on. Be lucky with this. You guys to be lucky. Alrighty. Let's go with that water gun and ooh that mag ooh wow magnitude nine a very strong attack. That's good. We didn't faint. So we go again with the water gun. Nearly takes out Diglett. We gotta go with one more and there's that magnitude. Wow, he keeps on hitting us with some strong magnitude attacks. Oh come on, we have got to finish this. Got to beat this guy. And there it is. No more Diglett, and uh, yes, more wins, more victorious, and he's like, no, there are better trainers? Yes, they are. Yeah, that's why I say you have to be out in the real world. I'm trying to, I'm trying hard to, so I can uh, be the star in my class, I guess, I don't know. Whatever, okay, so, let's see, there's no trainers right here. Here we are, right here right in front of the Pokemon daycare now in generation 2 it's a little bit different in generation 1 this daycare accepts two Pokemon and this is why we try to capture the ditto because you know you can actually breed Pokemon right here so as you can see daycare let us raise your Pokemon for you so let's go right in here talk to these people now when you first get here talk to one of these guys is like I'm the daycare man do you know about Pokemon eggs yes I just asked one I was raising a Pokemon with my wife you see 
we were shocked to find out an egg. Or we were shocked to find an egg. How incredible is that? Well, wouldn't you like this egg? Then fine, this is yours to keep. So here it is, we got ourselves another egg, the odd egg. I found that when I was caring for someone's Pokemon before. But the trainer w didn't want the want the eggs, so I'd uh, kept it around. Hmm. Okay, so now, here's the thing about that egg. It could be one of the few baby Pokemon that you guys probably hear. You know, Cleffa, Igglybuff, uh, what was the other Pokemon? Uh, Jinx is pretty, uh, pretty, you guys know. Magby, Elite Kid, I believe Pichu's in that, and then who else, who else, who else? God, I forgot that, that pre-evolution. But as you can see right here, wonder, wonder what's inside. It needs more time, though. What is his name? Oh, yes. Um, oh, wait. No, I forgot. Let's see. Jinx. Jinx. I got this, guys. Do not tell me. Come on. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go to Bulbapedia to find this out right now. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. Smooch him! Yes, I just figured it out. Remember, guys, played football, hurt my head quite a few times. I forget a lot. So there are quite a there 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 are chances that you can get one of one of those baby Pokemon. Normally, my luck takes me to Igglybuff or Cleffa, and these are two Pokemon that I don't really want. Um, I believe in my last walk during Pokemon Crystal, I was lucky enough to get a Smoochum, which I did keep, and I actually ended up evolving it into a into a Jinx. But you know. This all depends right now. Now, my deal is this. If I end up getting one of the better Pokemon like Magby or Eli Kid, I might consider it, might consider having it on my team. But as we all know, we got four. We already have four Pokemon. I already have one more Pokemon in mind for this team. We won't be getting it until way later on, but you guys know what I mean. There are there is a peach a PC right here where you can actually get your Pokemon. Let's see. I'm the decorator. You do know about eggs. My husband and I were raising some Pokemon, you see, and yes, we, she's saying the same thing to this person, or, yeah, she's saying the same thing about, about everything. Now, cool part about this daycare, too, is that you can go in here and you can actually see your Pokemon, you know, you can see how they're doing, if they like each other, whatnot, but you can breed Pokemon right here, and, uh, you know, I guess it's an easy way for you to get more of the, more of the baby Pokemon more of the other baby Pokemon that you can get now there is an individual right here now only at nighttime you will be able to battle them and uh, let's see do I you know, I'm gonna have to switch I'm gonna have to switch it up to lucky right here if you, if you guys already know this guy is a police officer and most of the police officers around Pokemon they do love their uh, growlers so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna heal uh, lucky because it needs more training it needs to get faster if you guys know what I mean so he's like who goes there what are you up to? I don't know. Again, remember, you only battle you can only battle this guy at night. And here is Officer Keith. He wants to battle. Got one Pokemon. And uh Alrighty, okay. He's got himself his Growlithe, and I'm gonna go straight with the water gun right here. Bye bye. Oh man, this Pokemon's strong! And uh, there's that roar attack. Okay, okay. We're gonna go have these on the <laughs> on the experience, so it's gonna be a tough battle right here because this Growlis is at level 17, and wow, he is going back and forth. He, he's not attacking. Okay, okay. Take a look at this tackle attack from a Pokemon stronger than you, and uh, wow, it doesn't take him out real quick. Really? Oh, come on! Don't let it be Oddish. Don't let it. Oh God! Why did it have to be Oddish? Eh, whatever. Really? Now you attack, you jerk. Well, Oddish has a good had a good life. Um, let's see. You know, since uh, since Growlithe being a dick and didn't invite Teddy, I'm gonna finish off with Teddy. Let's go with a headbutt. Nope. 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 That Ember attack just burnt me. Jeez. Oh, come on. You should have just been beaten right there. Huh. Well, you got to love that burn attack or that burn, you know, halves our attack. And we're getting beat, you know, to no end right there. And, uh, well, goodbye. Goodbye. Everybody gets 79 HP or experience points. That is good. And Officer Keith was like this. He's like, 
Oh, you're a tough little kid! Yeah, that is true. Thanks for burning my Pokemon, dick. Yep, I see nothing wrong today. You be good and stay out of trouble. Yeah, you know what? I'm flipping you off. I'm flipping you off. Okay, so... Huh. Yeah, Teddy's burnt. I might as well go to talk to Batman. You know, just for kicks and giggles. Okay, so let's see what this guy has all about. It's like, I'm confident in my ability to raise Pokemon. Wanna see? Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. But I have no choice in the matter, right? I really don't. So here's it's comp a Camper Todd, and he's coming out with his Psyduck. Oh yeah, by the way, you can get a Psyduck in the Alex Forest. You know, just a bit of a side note right there, guys. I did capture one off screen. I almost thought of using him as my team, you know, because Whooper's not that fast. But, you know what? I'm sticking with Whooper because he's a pretty cool Pokemon. I don't know. He's a pretty good Pokemon. He's a good guy. I don't know. There's a little bit of a... <laughs> There's something in my voice is like, I don't know. But here's more bite attack, and this guy right here scratches the you know what's out of me. Here we go again with another bite attack. Bye bye. Say goodbye to Psyduck, and look at that. Level 15. All right, talks to Batman. You're doing some good. He's like, Did I screw up my training? You pretty much did. You only have one Pokemon. Get multiple Pokemon, boy. Route 34. Golden Rod City to Zilly Town, Alex Forest, somewhere in between. Okay, that's a very good sign right there. Okay. So here we are, guys. Golden Rod City in all its glory. Look at that. It's definitely gold. It's definitely not a rod, but you know what it is. It's Golden Rod City. So stay tuned, guys. In the next episode, we will be going through Golden Rod City in all its glory. You know, that kind of fun stuff. So yeah, catch me in the next episode tomorrow. See you guys.